and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Thursday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Justin. Oh, sorry. I said, how's the rest of your day looking? Oh, Miranda free with any luck. I mean, what are your plans? Well, I've got some PowerPoint thing to finish off here, then I've got a lunch meeting in Felpsham. Don't forget I'm covering for Emma at the bull. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry? This evening. I'll be at the pub. Well, what, what happened to I can't bear the thought of serving Miranda? Yeah, well, I've changed my mind, Justin. What, about Miranda? About filling in on the shifts Emma dropped. It's my pub, after all. Can't let myself be driven out of it. Well, don't expect to find me there any time soon. I find it hard to bear the sight of Brown and Miranda together. I just ignore them. Well, how can I if they become a regular fixture? Well, let's cross that bridge should we come to it. Oh, you mark my words, Lillian. Miranda has well and truly got her claws into Brian. Well, she's got her claws into you by the sound of it. Rubbish! Oh, come on. She's already been talking about Miranda this, Miranda that. Oh, don't pretend the situation doesn't bother you too, Lily. Well, at least I refuse to let it turn into an obsession. Well, who says I'm obsessed? For heaven's sake, Justin, it is ten years since you divorced that woman. Can't you just let it go? Well, I am not obsessed. What, what were you talking to me about in bed? When? Last night and this morning and the day before that, I will tell you, Miranda. Well, I'm not the only one unsettled by her, you know. You said Kate wasn't very impressed. No, but she's wise enough to keep her nose out. Well, we'll see for how long. As she's living with Bran, I think Kate's got the sense to hold her tongue. Mm, you wait. What? Oh, she hasn't woken up to the sight of them in their pyjamas yet. Or, or worse. Oh, really, Justin? No, do you know Miranda's staying over at Bran's cottage now? So you said repeatedly. Don't you care? About what? That she's taking advantage of your brother-in-law. We don't know that. Of course we do. We know they're seeing each other. We know we're not particularly comfortable with it. Oh, to say the least. But we don't know for certain that she's taking him for a ride. I do. I can't sit back and let that happen. All we can hope is that it fizzles out. No, don't bank on it. I'll give them a couple of months. Mm, you're so naive. Why? I happen to know that Miranda is claiming to be smitten with Brian and has every intention of continuing the relationship. Uh, and how did you find that out? I mean, well, it's, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Have you spoken to her? No. Yes, uh, well, just uh, very briefly. When? Uh, uh, Monday, was it? You mean when you were supposed to be playing golf? Uh, look, Lillian... Did you actually go to the club and think very carefully before answering that? You know, all right, right. The truth. It had better be. I drove over to Miranda's house. You did what? I'm sorry to turn up unannounced. Well, I'm, I'm, I must admit I, I'm rather surprised to see you. Yeah, I know. You said you wanted to talk. About Harry. I thought it was all over between you. It is. He doesn't know I'm here. Oh, I see. I'm worried about him, Eve. He must be too. I know he mentioned his liver to you. I'm sorry? We, he thought he might have cirrhosis, but now the doctor is clearly concerned that might be the case. Cirrhosis? Harry said he'd talk to you about it. N no, no, this is the... Th the first I've heard. Oh, he, he told me and the doctor you knew. No, not at all, no. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry um, to just come out with it like that. I thought, I thought you knew. But I mean, uh, there's been no actual diagnosis yet. He has to go to the hospital, a, a specialist clinic. He's agreed to the test, so yeah, at least he's doing the right thing. I, I can see how concerned you are, Alice. Well, I just had to come and see you. Yeah. I'm sorry how I treated you before. No. As soon as I found out you were an alcoholic, I mean, I mean, 
a recovering. But, well, it just, it just, it just seemed like Harry had gone mad. It's all right. Uh, I do understand. I mean, we, we knew Harry had a drink problem, but we thought he had it under control, and then him going out with it. Uh, well, it was disastrous. I do understand how precarious recovery can be. <clears throat> My family worry about me too. But it's partly their love and support which gives me the strength to stay on top of things. That's good to hear. We have struggled, you know. Well, I'm just glad Harry has you and his father. The news about his liver must have been a shock, though I am. I guess it's better you know. Yes, I suppose so. If you know the truth, you can decide how best to help him. Don't you agree? Eve. All the time I thought you were at the golf club, you were in fact miles away fraternising with your ex-wife. No, no, I wasn't fraternising, we were arguing. An argument happens to be a very intimate thing. Oh, I can't say anything, can I? No, not really. Of course you'll deny it, but I happen to think you're jealous of this thing Miranda's got going don't, with Brian. Don't be ridiculous. There's always a very fine line between love and hate. I should know. Oh, this is preposterous, Lillian. No, you are jealous. You hate to see Brian having fun with your ex-wife. So you couldn't be further from the truth. Well, I suppose it beats coffee at the breakfast table with the old ball and chain. No, I was having a perfectly pleasant time until... You... Until you were rumbled. Oh, there's nothing to rumble, Lillian. Nothing at all. You see, darling, I think that if this visit to Miranda's was innocent, you'd have told me. Well, aren't you listening? I didn't say anything because I... Oh, was... save it, Justin. Where are you going? I have heard enough. I think it's fair to say that Harry's addiction has completely crushed me and his dad over the years. I, mean, I know you're aware of some of this, but Harry's not just been a drunk. He's been deceitful, embarrassing, insulting, and and and, and really cruel. I'm sorry. Of course, later, he, he'd always be full of apologies and promises that he wouldn't behave in such a way again, but... Yeah. It's been a nightmare. I understand. Hmm. He used to promise Bryony, his ex, exactly the same thing. But he just kept on, kept on undermining their marriage until she couldn't take it anymore. She was heartbroken. I'm just glad they didn't have any children together. That would have made things so much worse. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alice. It's all right. It's just... Uh... Whenever things looked more hopeful for Harry, whenever Graham and I would let ourselves believe that he was getting better, he would self-destruct, and we would always be caught in the middle of the explosion. That's what it feels like, doesn't it? Hmm. We're both battle-scarred, his father and I. And naively, we had thought that perhaps meeting you would change things for the better. Oh, I did too. And, and then when I found out about you, the nightmare began all over again. And, oh. I really don't mean to upset you, Alice, but if I'm honest... What? Graham and I have accepted that Harry's alcoholism is... Well, it's a, it's a hopeless cycle. I said no more lies, Justin. Yeah, I, I know. But it wasn't really a lie, though. I just, I just uh, withheld the truth. Which is what you did last time. And that's only because it was such a mistake going over there. I wanted to forget the whole thing. That, that's all it was, Lily. Yes, well, I don't buy it. I promise. <sighs> you do know I can't stand the woman, don't you? Honestly, you have nothing to fear at all. Miranda could never hold a candle to you, my darling. Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right. No, I mean it. I, I know all too well what she's like, how manipulative she is. That's the only reason I'm trying to stop Brian from getting tangled up with oh, her. Oh, right, Justin. So, you do believe me? Well, I 
apologize if I jump to conclusions. No, I know, I don't blame you, but this is exactly what the woman wants. To stir things up, drive a wedge between us. We mustn't let her do that, Lillian. Yes, well, I suggest you keep your distance from now on. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll just have to trust the fact that Brian's not a foolish man. Oh, you're right. At some point, he'll, he'll lose interest in her. Well, more likely he'll realise what a terrible mistake he's made. Or that. And I shall take great pleasure in reminding Brian that I told him so. But how can you turn your backs on your child? Alice. I could never do anything like that to my Martha. You really don't know. Of course I do. But anyone could make that decision if they're pushed long and hard enough. <sighs> we had so much patience with Harry. Me, his father, his sister. And for a long time, we had nothing but sympathy. We supported him in every way, as well as we could. We repeatedly gave him the benefit of the doubt. But... <sighs> We can't do that anymore. Don't you feel sad? Sad? I, I feel heartbroken. It's the most painful thing I've ever had to cope with. But we've got to protect ourselves. Otherwise, he'll just pull us all down with him. Right to the bottom. And I'm not prepared to let that happen. I really hope you'll try and see things from our point of view. It isn't easy. No, not for me. Not anymore. You know why Harry bought the horse for his niece, don't you? Oh, Sadie, at our stables, she's lovely. She was purchased to get back into his sister's good books after a drunken outburst at her birthday party. Harry ruined the whole thing. It was awful and very public. And they were so close as children. Laurie idolised him right up until recently. She hung on to her faith in Harry longer than any of us. But now she's as crushed as we are. And I need to give her my attention now. I get, I get that. I do. I'm just so sorry it's come to this. And I'm sorry I lost my temper. No, that's nothing. But I have to say, although Harry was wary of these liver tests at first, I, I think the doctor's concern has been the kick he needed. It would be good if that were true. What? Well, I'm afraid that I am beyond the point of trusting that anything will be different this time. But I, I think that... I know, that must be hard to hear. Yeah, because I, I can see how much you care about him. And I know he cares about you, too. He can do it, Eve. And I wish him luck. Well, that's all? I hope he proves me wrong and gets sober. For good, I really do. But we are not in a position to help him any longer. Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of, yep. First. Okay, and and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for them financially, mind, but. Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think The Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever